Oh, no, let me work. Yes! Yes, wow! Boom! So realistic. Everybody, for a while now, you guys have been begging me to talk about this interesting 1979 movie. It's called The Concord Airport 79. Here's the poster, and it already shows the context of this interesting film. Yes, the movie follows a group of passengers and crew members aboard a Concord flight from Washington, D.C. to Paris, who in the movie become embroiled in a sea series of dangerous events, one of which is the most iconic scene, that is a dogfight between the Concord and a Soviet fighter jet. You can watch the whole movie on YouTube basically, and so we're gonna do that now here. Uh, this is the jet attack scene. It starts with our good old Concord being in midair. Interesting livery here, I don't know what airline this is supposed to be. And it's right now already kind of on approach to Paris. Uh, nice to be with you, Paris Control. We've just passed 10 degrees west. We we should be on the ground in under an hour. Yeah, there we go. It's already kind of almost approaching Paris and we're flying still at Mach 2 Starting though. Starting our gradual descent for landing at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. Captain Metron has turned on the seatbelt sign. You request that you stay seated with your... Okay, great. But then suddenly in this super realistic scene, we can see a fighter jet take off. Wow, the CGI on this is amazing. Yes, this movie is often seen as the most unrealistic aviation movie there has ever been. So we're gonna take a look at that. It's hilarious. Check this out. You know, this is supposedly a Soviet fighter jet, you know, the KGB, that supposedly in the movie, this is the whole plot, now is aiming for the shootdown of this Concorde and then trying to frame it on the Americans in the movie. So come on, let's take a look. Here you go, we've got the air traffic controller who noticed something. Concorde, this is Paris Control. We are advised of unknown high-speed traffic in French airspace, your area. The Air Force is responding. Please monitor French Air Force traffic on the following fleet. Yeah. Electronic signal jam. That's what the um, fighter jet also just, you know, switched. So there's no more connection to Paris airspace. Hello? All right, and we're in trouble. We've lost communication with Paris Control, Captain. Yeah, lost communication. There's the French Air Force, but they will not arrive in time to the Concorde. So the Concorde now has to defend itself against the <gasps> KGB pilot. Oh, no! Check this out now. Jesus Christ, there's an armed phantom, and he's coming right for us. Armed F4 Phantom, I think that's what he said. Weird Soviet plane. Phantom what I love about this movie right. is the detail that he's checking his side mirror on his plane to see the plane behind him. The KGB plane. Doesn't make sense. So come on. Yeah, wow! Oh! Wow, so realistic! Check this out now. Oh. Okay, now we've got this one. Wow. <gasps> and it's shooting a missile. He fired one. He it's fired one. If we make enough violent maneuvers, we may be able to cause a flyby. All right. Yes, it's time to outmaneuver the missile. And this is what he, the pilot does here. Uh, wow! Oh, Grandma! I think she was on the toilet. Things looking... <laughs> Mayday, Mayday, this He's, like this part is just casually pulling stunts. Amazing. Concord, please respond. I'd love to see what my horoscope said for this morning. <sighs> Funny. All right, there you go. Missile. First one has been outmaneuvered. Check this out. The plane would break up if I do any more violent aerobatics. We need to send a false target. Flare is small, but it's hot. Oh, he's got a flare gun, the pilot. Um, I wonder what he's gonna do now to avoid the second missile from hitting the Concorde. Depressurize. Why did they depressurize the cabin? What are they doing? Just sit down already, what the hell? I mean, you were... <laughs> no! What is he doing? He's just opened the door! What the hell? That's... <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we're looking at a very realistic movie. Check this out. Yeah! The door's open now, very... Oh, yeah. Just a nice little side window action. Get your... Oh! Oh! What is he doing? Ah! Oh, upside down! Why are they without masks? He's still breathing! Uh, this is why they did also did the pressurization to be able to open the window. And he's got literally a flare gun that he's holding outside of this cockpit. We're at Mach 2, by the way, still! Twice the speed of sound! Oh, no, we were... Yes! Yes! Wow! Boom! So realistic! Yes! I, I like how, like, 80% uh, of what happens in this scene is just absolutely crazy. So, so nice. So, come on. Looking fine. Yeah, just maybe close the window here. What are you doing? Alright, some newspapers. 
At least it's, the thing is, this is actually realistic Concord, though. Like, they used the yoke, the cabin. You could see the windows earlier. Very small. All right, second flare gun. No, it's jammed! Alright, what now? Are you just gonna sh be shut down after all this effort? Oh, oh, it's, oh, it was shot in the cabin. That is actually, that's really not good. Uh-oh, got the flare gun. Great. Poor Concord cockpit. Anyway, what they end up doing here in the end of the scene is they do like this nose dive maneuver while the KGB plane is falling. And boom, pull up. Yeah, it's very realistic. Wow, that was almost a solid while wow, the KGB is too stupid. It's crashed. Rest in peace. Wow, so good. And the Concorde ends up landing safely. What a realistic scene. I mean, we gotta consider this is a 1979 movie. I like considering that. We're looking at pretty good graphics and stuff. So anyway, this gave me a little bit of an idea. How does the Concorde fare in a dogfight? After all, we're looking at a plane that can do supersonic speeds. I mean, we've, you know, troubled with putting weapons to airliners. This can be nice to defend themselves against Soviet planes. But to be actually used in combat, of course, they're way too slow and not agile enough, which maybe the Concorde can offer. So when it was time once again to pull up the plane maker here in X-Plane, absolutely beautiful. And this gives us a lot of options to put weapons to this plane. So default weapon weapons here, I put like some uh, AIM-54 and MK-84. Those are nice and also some flares to the plane. Let's check this out. All right, smoke them aboard the war ready Concorde. Check this out. We've got our missiles right here. Here's some more, and we can even fire flares with this thing, just like they did in the movie, but uh, at least a bit more realistic now, not in a drive-by situation out the window. Great. So it might be time to take off now, engage in all this skillful power in this beautiful Concorde. Look at the beautiful afterburners. We can definitely hear them. It's loud. All right, full power. Looking great. We're right now in the desert. Welcome to Sedona. We're not looking at the longest of runways, but despite that. Oh, God. Oh, the fly. Oh, my God. Despite that, our takeoff is no problem, but my flight simulator is absolutely broken. What the hell? All right, mm, nothing to be worried about. We're on board our beautiful Congo and it has missiles. Now, something I've already done was load up some enemies. And here we go. We've got some AI aircraft loaded in. F4 Phantoms and, of course, F14 Comtat loaded in. This is the new one. So let's go ahead and use those and shoot those, you know, and stuff like that. The thing is, we have got combat mode turned on as well, so they will chase us down and try to shoot us. We are under attack. Seriously. You know, this is a situation similar to the movie. We are here in midair. Concord's flying fine, and we've got a uh, enemy aircraft here. We can see the contrail. Yes, no, they cannot hide. So it's time to go into the cockpit, and specifically the weapon cockpit. Here we go. We can now see the gun that we've selected. AM-54, and we can also select our enemy. Let me just go ahead and see. There we go. Oh my god, that was a Tomcat. Let's ignore that one. Yes, in this green box, we will have our enemies. Let's go ahead and just shoot a weapon here, MK-84. Yep, there you go. All right, we've shot both now. All right, no, nothing to be worried about. Things are looking fine. The mighty Concorde has spoken. Let's see, I want to see this F-4 Phantom blow up. And they've actually avoided the missile, which is a shame. Great. Yes, after all, I've set them to a very hard skill level. No, 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 no. Don't even worry about it. Let's try this all again. Come on, let's get into this view again. All right, nothing to be worried about. Check this out. We've got a contrail right here. Let's go ahead and go into weapon mode here. Come on, let's see. Can we find the target? There he is. Okay, come on. Let's go ahead and shoot now. He's in Phoenix 1. I think one missile will be already enough here, honestly. You can see... And it's... Mi oh, it's actually missed. God damn it. Oh, and there's a missile. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I didn't fire the flare in time. God damn it. It would have helped. God damn it. Yeah, after all, very hard enemy level. Yes, of course. The advantage they have over me is their technology. I mean, all I did was put weapons to my body here and... That's what I did. Not really the smartest plane per se. So come on now. Got a target here. Let's go and shoot weapons now. Shoot both. I think that'll actually maybe do here. Boom, boom, bam. Looking fine. Meanwhile, we can already fire some shafts here. Yes. Yes, and it's worked. Yes. F4 Phantom is in a thousand pieces. The War Concord has won. Oh, but there's another fighter jet that's actually now behind us. KGB style. So it's time now for KGB plane number two. You can see the Kim Contrails here. Aim 7 Sparrow. Shoot both of them. We need both of them probably. 
All right, there we go, yes. And, um, I want to remind, this hasn't worked. Great, thank you very much. All right, come on. Come on, select another target. Yeah, okay, there we go. If we're right now following another plane, let's go ahead and shoot it. Come on, give all you got. Yes. Yes, that was right in front of our eyes. Jesus Christ, absolutely successful. Now that we've reached our top speed, it's hard for other planes to get along. We're much faster. Look at this, 1,000 knots versus 300 knots. We are being followed, that's for sure, and missiles can go up to like four Mach, which is plenty enough, but this plane is way too fast to be properly intercepted. It's very cute that the F4 Phantoms are trying their best here. Come on, maybe go ahead and reset a little bit and slow down, maybe just to give them a bit of a chance here, okay? Let's go ahead and get rid of the afterburners. Take this out after Phantom is coming here. Come on, you guys. It requires a bit more than there's this. Here we go. We've got the plane here. We can see the afterburners. When are they going to shoot, though? That's my question. Let me turn on the autopilot here. Come on. Here we go. Heading hold, altitude hold. This is a very easy target. Come on, F4 Phantom. How are you doing? Mr. Pilot, when are you guys shooting? Why I got no wing? Oh, all right, we've got a missile. We've got a missile that's been shot. Let's go ahead and flare the guns. Uh, gun to flare, whatever. Flare, more flare. There we go. This will serve just right. Check out, the missile is confused. We're not letting them win. We're not letting them win. Ah! Ah, no! No, 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 no! Yes! Oh, God. All right, there we go. Missile has genuinely not worked. I am actually quite proud of that. Question is, what is this guy up to? Will he drop a bomb on us, or what is he about to do? I mean, we are apparently better at, you know, combat at than these guys. Come on. Let's go and shoot our, all, all our weapons here. <laughs> Poor guy. Nothing to be worried about. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Ah! Oh, oh, go. Oh, we've crashed. All right, we've lost the race against the KGB. It wasn't a race. The dogfight. So, everybody in the Concord would have made a good fighter plane. So, thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Well, thank you so much to all the people who give me lots of monies, like Mariana, Ragings, Junk in the Trunk, Mike, John O'Brien, Derek, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Kelly Chaos, Ryland Williams, New York, Shadow, Ignuana, and Moritz Bohausen.